The date for the wedding was set for February 10th, 1863 at Grace Church at 10th Street and Broadway. Eric Lehman writes in his book, Becoming Tom Thumb, quote, the 21 and 25 year old took a suite at the huge brownstone Metropolitan Hotel in the days leading up to the wedding, receiving visitors. Talk of their upcoming nuptials became the one absorbing topic by high and low. The events surrounding the marriage ceremony actually knocked news of the Civil War off the front page of the New York Times for three days. They defended the choice, saying, quote, The marriage of General Tom Thumb cannot be treated as an affair of no moment. In some respects, it is most momentous. Next to Louis Napoleon, there is no one person better known by reputation to high and low, rich and poor, than he. The extensive coverage of the wedding itself in the, in the next day's New York Times includes every detail about the crowds outside and inside the church, how they waited with great anticipation until finally the wedding party emerged at the top of the aisle. The Times reported, preceding them was the self-possessed, the self-poised, the shrewd-eyed, kindly-faced Barnum, the prince of showmen, the manager of the affair. After the general and the queen, Charles and Lavinia, followed by Commodore Nutt, the groomsman, and Miss Minnie Warren, the bridesmaid. An instantaneous uprising ensued. All looked, few saw. Many stood upon their seats. By many, good breeding was forgotten. By very many, the sanctity of the occasion and the sacredness of the ceremonies were entirely ignored. As the little party toddled up the aisle, a sense of the ludicrous seemed to hit many a bump of fun and an irrepressible and unpleasantly audible giggle ran through the church. <laughs> 